two power tool batteries dumping in 457 watts. That's awesome. Today I'm going to uh, do a video showing uh, how you can expand a power station uh, like this. The one we're going to be using today is the Anchor Solix C1000 uh, on the cheap with stuff uh, you may have uh, laying around home already. The inspiration uh, for this video uh, came from when I was thumbing through uh, some uh, emails and what have you and I got notified that Makita, uh, who I own a bunch of their tools and stuff, come out with uh, this uh, new power station. So I was uh, just curious to, to see what uh, it offered. And uh, anyway, uh, selling for uh, just under $800. Uh, which kind of took my breath away initially because that's just the power station and then you have to get uh, these big uh, backpacks or, or battery packs that then clip on to provide uh, power for it. So that got my wheels spinning and uh, thinking well you know if I'm a homeowner that uh, has a serious addiction to Makita power tools you can see I've got all my batteries lined up here. If I want to utilize uh, the power that's stored in those batteries during a grid down situation, power outage, job site uh, power, whatever, what are my alternatives to this paying all that money for just the power station then potentially need to get like the backpack that all of those go in so that I can slot it into this. So if we were to uh, just look and I'll put a screenshot up here uh, from the Amazon listing of this uh, Anchor Solix uh, C1000, 649 So we're actually sub the price of the Makita power station. We've already got ourselves a power station that actually has more outlets, uh, more production uh, capability power-wise from the inverter, built-in battery already, so you already have a, a start. Let's now uh, talk about uh, how one could go about uh, tapping into the potential of in my case, a bunch, 15 to be exact, uh, of these uh, Makita batteries. Now, they are small uh, just by themselves, but, uh, you know, if you have uh, one or two, uh, any power that uh, you add to your power station is that much more runtime you get. So everything is a, a fairly good drop in the bucket. And uh, if you're uh, to the point of someone like myself that uh, has a whole bunch of these, this collection of batteries here, if they're fully charged, will fully charge this power station just under one and a half times uh, from dead to full. And that's not counting, you know, what the what power you already have in there. It's certainly a viable option. The awesome thing about these and any power tool batteries, there's a lot of uh, power tool batteries that are compatible. These are 18 volt uh, batteries, nominal. And uh, how we're going to tap into their power is by just going in through the DC charging port on this. And this particular power station um, has a rating here of 11 to 32 volts at 10 amps. And then it goes all the way 32 to 60 volts at 12.5 amps. If you've got 12 volt battery packs, 18 volt battery packs, 20 volt battery packs, 40 volt battery packs, 56 volt uh, battery packs, all of those uh, will work going into this power station here, this particular one. So let me show you how this works. There, I'm gonna show you two options. Just take this battery here, and uh, the secret sauce to making this all work is this little adapter. They make a ton of different versions. This one's for the Makita battery, uh, but it's just on Amazon, and uh, it's got this little on off switch uh, here in the middle of the cord which is nice and then it has an inline 30 amp fuse right here so uh, you get uh, overcurrent protection in this device and so literally all you've got to do is take this slot it on and uh, this uh, adapter right here is an XT60 adapter you can buy any adapter really that uh, goes to your particular power station but this is what the Anchor requires, and these are super cheap for a whole bag full of them on uh, Amazon. Leave links for all this down below. We're just going to plug that in, and uh, as you can see, I just uh, wire nutted the two uh, pieces together. And uh, so we should see here um, this start charging. I guess I need to turn the battery on first. That might be good. Power on. <laughs> 
I'm rough. Rating. So check that out. A uh, single battery is uh, able to dump in at the moment 180 or so watts. Now as the voltage declines on this battery uh, a little bit, uh, that uh, wattage will drop a little bit uh, as well. It's actually substantially faster and more voltage than you know, you'd get just from like a 12 volt uh, source. But I can already uh, hear you saying, well that's all well and fine, but uh, you know, that's gonna drain this battery really fast and you're gonna be constantly you know, swapping uh, the batteries back and forth and I want more power than just 180 some odd watts. Okay, cool. Let me show you how to do that. And here's the answer, just one more uh, adapter. And uh, in this case, I've hooked these up in series, so it's doubling the voltage of the batteries, uh, but not uh, doubling my amps. So uh, you can see here, I've got the uh, red wire from one going to the black wire of the other, and then in turn, uh, the other two wires going to the XT60 connector. You also want to be sure, uh, if you do this, that uh, the batteries are at a similar state of charge. So we've got four bars on that one, and we've got four bars on that one. You don't want to put uh, a battery that's significantly drained and a full battery, because that will cause a rush of current uh, into the other battery and trip and slash blows the fuse uh, in the, the line there. So I uh, don't want to do that make sure they're both uh, similar uh, in charge. And then all you've got to do is uh, flip the switches. All right, now check that out. 464 watts uh, getting dumped into this uh, power station. So uh, nearly 500 watts of power coming out of just these two batteries. And so I can discharge two of these at a time, make a significant difference in uh, the state of charge of this. This would, this would charge us up uh, in a fairly uh, short amount of time, just uh, barely over an hour if it was dead. I can easily just dump those two in. Once those have been depleted, swap them out with uh, some more and uh, continue. Two power tool batteries dumping in 457 watts, that's awesome. So sorry Makita, I don't think I'm gonna be buying your power station anytime soon. This uh, setup is gonna do me just fine. I'll uh, leave links down in the description to these uh, adapters. Uh, if you have other brands of power tool batteries, maybe they're the DeWalt uh, brand or the Milwaukee brand or the Ryobi brand, uh, all of those uh, are compatible and I'm, I think I've seen adapters for those, so. Uh, go down to the links, uh, go to Amazon, search uh, an adapter uh, for your particular brand of uh, power tool, and uh, you should be able to easily do the same thing as I've done here. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please be sure and uh, give it that thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Completely free for you to do, but it uh, helps out uh, the channel immensely. And uh, I think there's a lot of other people out there that uh, might appreciate this and uh, your contribution in uh, liking and uh, subscribing uh, really helps uh, spread it to, to more people. We'll catch you next time.